Hello and welcome for the second episode of Seven Wonders Ancient Alien Makeover. We're going to play through the second wonder, use some cool power-ups, and be awesome. So let's get started here. So last time we did Temple of Inscriptions in Mexico, today we're doing the second one, which is the Churches of Lalabella. Alright. Oh, he looks like a happy constellation up there. Oh man, look at this right here. Boom! That should have been some kind of special power-up. I just matched up like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces in like 15 different directions. That was cool. Uh, so again, we're doing the same kind of thing we did last time. Let's go ahead and bust out some power-ups here. Let's see. That was the X-Tesla. It blasts an X across the field. Pretty handy. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the maximal use out of sometimes. Uh, I always like this one when I'm trying to clear out like a tricky corner, because sometimes he'll double back around, meet stuff. At that time, he just went off and did his own thing, completely disregarding my desires to show off cool stuff. Uh, oh, let me show the teleport. You pick a block. Like, I want to teleport this one. And let me teleport it to... Well, let me... Oh, I didn't... No, go back. There. Let me uh, get trickier. See if I can't do something cooler. Because a four match is... Neat, but not neat. Oh, I'll never get a four or a five match out of that. Darn, so much for me being tricky. Okay, let's go ahead and use him. And now I have a four-way match. Boom! So the teleport's a good one for when you have to do tricky things, or you need to get a specific square, like if I wanted a green match right there. I could manipulate things and use that teleport to get the last green piece in. I shouldn't need to do that. At least not this early in the stage. I'm not feeling desperate yet. Uh, there's an achievement for getting five of these cross pieces out here. And so that's kind of what I'm tr wanting to work towards while I'm on this stage. Uh, we'll find out if that happens. It probably won't. It starts getting hard to work around the ones that you already have. Do this. And clear out that bottom row. Give myself a little more room to work. Aha! Perfect. Let me just wipe this out, wipe that out. We are going to build the best darn Lalabellan churches ever. Are those a real thing? I don't think I've ever heard of them before this game. I will, uh... Yeah, I think I will try to link a article about these buildings in the video description. That's kind of neat. I've, I've heard of some of them, but not all of them, so... You could hit the shuffle button and it would move all the pieces around randomly. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's use the teleport. To move, say, that green piece there. And then we can do that. Boom! We got the second one of those. Now let's clear out this corner up here. Choose my little eater dude. And he ate the corner. That just leaves us with one piece over here we still have to clean up. We have plenty, plenty of time. Alright, there's four of those. Can I get one more? Just one more. That's all I want. Oh, 
Oh, and if you get these bonus matches, which are not always easy, uh, it gives you more time on the clock, which is a pretty handy thing. Oh, we got it. See? Whoosh. Oh, if I do the teleported green block to there, that should give me five of those. Boom! Achievement, cross it off, done. Awesome. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get one of those blue blocks down here. Um, so I will use... Well, first let me do the color annihilator. It's pretty awesome. You drop it in and it blows up all the blocks of that color, which means we just got all the stone pieces done in one big boom. Uh, now let me use singled out. We'll clear that one block. That's all it does. We get this up here. And let's just set off a massive chain reaction. some blocks, we got some gold, build our building, next level, I can't believe I got that achievement, that is awesome, I was trying to get that yesterday and it just was not happening, the only achievements I don't have are basically achievements for just playing a lot, so maybe I'll get those while we're doing this, that would be kind of cool. Later on in harder stages, you have to conserve these things sometimes, uh, just because they are so valuable to have in a pinch. Let's see, it looks like this is a good candidate for teleport. Make a move like that. Clear that one out. It is a very casual puzzle game, at least on this difficulty level. You can take your time. And just enjoy it. It's very relaxing, I find. And then the re relaxation gets interrupted with little spikes of excitement when things are just chaining left and right. You got cats and dogs living together. What can I match over here? Do that and drop that down. Oh, sweet! And we just have this one stone piece. Let's knock that out of the way. Okay, let's do something like this. Oh, let's save that. Yes, someone cleared out that last block. We got it. So you can see the shapes are starting to get kind of complicated. Some of these will be pretty hard to get. These ones in the corners, uh, they're always tricky. Some of the stages get kind of convolutedly difficult. Uh, some of the stages are even multi-level, they're split, there'll be like a bunch of blocks up here and a bunch of blocks down there, and no way to connect them, which gets very tricky when you're trying to line stuff up. Uh, there'll be places where there'll be holes in the stage, uh, those are hard too. Maybe we'll play through the whole game, I don't know. Uh, if I remember right, I got this game and, uh some pack or bundle or something that I bought. I don't remember which one. Uh, which means this game cost me all of like 99 cents or something. 
totally worth it at that price point for, what, I got 12 hours into it so far? That is a pretty good value. Granted, it's not everybody's kind of game. And maybe other people don't enjoy the, uh... Bejeweled mechanics as much as I do. But for me, it was a great value. Now we got the six things again. We go through the little gate and into this mini game, which isn't timed, which is nice. So we can take our time, clear out lots of blocks. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you double jerk. that right, I'm not offending somebody. Let's see, he does that funny thing. Uh, let's see. The Nova Bomb is a nice one if you need to just annihilate something. Let's nuke up here. Boom! Um, well, I don't really want to use those other ones on this stage. I don't need to. It's kind of overkill. even when I don't have to get them. They're like extra special then. They're opt-in bonuses. Alright, all done with that stage. Piece of cake. Build some more walls. And uh, you get bonuses. So shuffle bars full at the beginning. So if I don't like what I see, I could just shuffle it. So I kind of like what I see. We'll go a little bit here and see what we get. I usually don't use the shuffle. Uh, on the later stages, you start clearing out all the special blocks with resources on them, and up at the top, and pretty soon the only ones that are left are down at the bottom. So if you hit that, then they get all jumbled around, and then you have to start getting creative on where you're putting your blocks again, as opposed to just concentrating on one area at a time. Uh, I might have said it uh, in the first video. Uh, this is apparently like a series of these things. So I might have to go check these uh, the other ones in the series out. Uh, just because this is exactly the kind of gaming I enjoy when I just want to kick back and relax. It requires just a little thought, but not too much. And a lot of the time you can just autopilot it. So you get very zen even with the time limit taken away. I've said Zen like ten times, haven't I? I will have to stop that. I'm probably offending some Zen guy or something right now. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And let's do this. See how I've got it now? All the special pieces are cleared out of the top. I'm just working my way towards the bottom. A 
because they stop spawning because there's a finite number of these things, which I guess makes sense because you want people to have to go through many stages uh, to build your wonder instead of just one stage, wonder, done. Hmm. That should be a thing in music, a one-stage wonder. They get up on stage once, and now their career is over. That kind of ex describes my band, actually. We were on stage more than once. We were even on stage in Las Vegas, although we weren't actually the band that was playing. We just happened to walk across the stage. Oh, yeah, see, this one has these holes in the middle. I was about to hit that would wipe out that block, but I can't because of the hole, but I can do this. Clear out that corner. We're almost done. I'm going to use the teleport. Grab that block. Put it there. Boom, now we've got the keystone. And all done. Level 4 complete. Shuffle bar is full at the beginning. Alright, well we could shuffle again. Let's just go ahead and uh, use the shuffle bar. I don't think I've used it yet. Although I've talked about it a couple times. Let's hit that. Oh, I don't like the way this looks. Shuffle. Boom! Completely different layout. Pretty handy. It can be handy. If you actually do run out of moves on the board, the game will shuffle for you. A uh, fact which I found on some later stages. It came in handy. Saved my buttocks, as we say in the business. Don't ask what business. These and those will all be kind of hard to get, so I'm going to unleash the eater. Have him clear that out. I'm going to use the color thing to wipe out all the orange pieces. And this one, I'm going to use the vertical annihilator thing on. Boom. So it just wipes out a whole column. Then there's the laser cutter, which is pretty neat. Just cuts things for a while. Wipes out everything that you pass over. And then as you keep playing normally, your power-ups start filling up again. I'm starting to rethink my plan of that I just developed of playing through all these stages because this must be pretty boring to watch. I mean, it's very relaxing to play, and if it's relaxing to play, there's not a whole lot going on for viewers to see. There's the little eater up in this corner. Oh, I was hoping he turned the other way. Or maybe I should play these stages on a much higher difficulty so there's actually some time challenge. And you hear me start to swear at the game because it's being a jerk. Oh, we saw this one. Oh, we can do that. have the big block up there, and we have all the resources except for these, okay? We'll do this, and we've got them, and we'll just clear the rest of the path and win the stage. And done. Alright, next stage. This whole line right here will probably be pretty tricky to collect. Oh, 
Oh, I should have waited just a second and got that match. Oh, well, but it all worked out good in the end anyway. the job. Well, is it a him? I mean, you have a blobby mouth thing. Is it really a him? Is it a her? Does it even have a discernible gender? These are the questions philosophers will be asking about this game for decades to come. I want to make a cross block, so there we go. Resources. Let's clear this out. Boom! Yeah, let's party down there, little people. Ooh, looks like he brought something good to eat. Time stands still. Oh, yeah, every now and then, despite your difficulty level. You get a power-up that makes time not tick down. Very handy. Uh, let you just do whatever the heck you want. You know, there's no right or wrong way to play when time stands still. Just keep making matches to your heart's content. It's like the Bob Ross of video games. Got my happy little runes. Clearing out my happy little foundations. Getting all my happy little earths together, or rocks or bricks, whatever they are. Let's blow something up. Get my happy little nuclear bomb going off. sending me text messages and stuff right now and I am just ignoring them all. It'd be rude of me to leave you all hanging. Dead silence. Oh, I guess I could just edit that out, but... We're having such fun. Just remember for everybody, the North Star and the Southern Cross never should have fought. Oh, I'm going to clear those out. Let's just use the vertical beam. seven complete. We should be able to finish the temple here. And the temple is done. Dun, 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 dun. The aliens come and check it out because the humans are awesome. 
All right. Uh, next time we will play some of the mini games. I guess uh, you've seen all the highlights of the game, uh, so check it out.